body twisted and bent, her mind came and went to a time long ago. She was beautiful once, you know, back before she'd become a victim of Parkinson. Then slowly but surely she lost her control. She learned how to fall with a tuck and a roll. Her husband stepped in as her skills fell away. It wasn't supposed to be like this, I'd once heard him say. We were good for each other before this disease. We'd earned the right to do as we pleased. Now it takes both just to get through the day. Then he fed her her lunch on her own special tray. Finally, her weight grew too much to bear and he could no longer provide the best care. He knew the decision was his alone. The time had come for his wife to leave home. Now she knew in her heart that he'd done all he could and crying and begging would do her no good. So they packed a few things and he drove her away and promised to visit her every day. only five years old, yet wiser than his years. He came to me this morning, his face was streaked with tears. I found this birdie, Mommy. I think it's gonna die. It doesn't even want to live. It doesn't want to fly. The sparrow lay there in his hand and took its last breath of air, and my son whispered to it, I'm sorry, life's not fair. <coughs> <coughs> I helped him dig a grave for it, and after it was done, we washed the dirt from our hands, and I held my little son. I know now, Mommy, why it died, because it was so old. And I know why, after it died, its body got so cold. Old birds die to make more room for younger birds to fly, because if they lived forever, there'd be more birds in the sky. Good things go to heaven, but that bird is in the ground, so it must be the warmth that goes. But I feel it's still around, because I feel it in my hand, and deep inside me here. He pointed his, his chest as he wiped away a tear. Maybe it's just waiting for God to show the way, or maybe it's waiting for the other birds that must have died.